Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my August favorites. I really like doing favorites because I mean like who doesn't like talking about favorites? I told myself back in January that I was going to try to film a favorites video every single month. But obviously that didn't happen because I don't know, I don't always try new things. But this month I've tried a lot of new things and I have a lot of new favorites and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. If you're new to my channel, hey, subscribe if you want. And... Let's just get started with the video. Mm, I don't even know what to start with. So I hate women perfume. I guess I'm kind of picky. Most women perfumes are like super sweet and like, it's like vanilla and like just a bunch of sweet stuff and I hate sweet scents, I hate them. So I just don't wear perfume. <sighs> there was just nothing that I liked and I wasn't gonna wear something that I didn't like. But up to recently, like, I, I don't know, I wanted to wear perfume. So, um, I started looking and looking and smelling and smelling, and there was nothing that I liked. So then I told myself that I didn't care because I really, really, really like men cologne. I don't know why, I just, I love it, I think it smells so good, I think it's so attractive, and I don't think it matters. So, I started looking and looking and looking, and smelling and smelling and smelling, and I finally found one that I really like, and this is the YSL... I don't know how to say it. Cologne legit makes me melt. It smells so good. It smells really like mature and manly and strong and attractive. My favorite men cologne are the Azaro Chrome. Polo Blue is one of my favorites and Cool Water. I like, um, I don't know. And this one, first of all, it's like super cute and I keep it on my, um, I keep it on my makeup drawer and it looks really cute. But you know what? I'm not even wearing any. <sighs> if you're a man, buy this. It smells really, really good. My next favorite are the new Too Faced um, Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. <sighs> These are the best matte liquid lipsticks that I have ever tried. These are honestly the best formula for matte liquid lipsticks that I have ever tried in my life. Um, I have two colors. I got a pink one and this is called Bend and Snap. And my favorite is the... Oh, this is called Cool Girl. I really like this one. I don't like nudes, but this one I like. I really like this one. I should have worn it today. Oh, well. These are just the best formula for matte liquid lipsticks for me, at least. I don't know. Not much to say. They're just really good and I really like them. And I really like Too Faced. The next lipsticks on my favorite lists... List. Favorites list. The new Urban Decay... Vice lipsticks. Oh my god, I love these. These have like a whole stand, like a, a bunch of colors for like everyone. They have pinks and nudes and like darks and they have like blues and purples and they have so many to choose from. And I didn't know which ones to get, so I picked up Amulet and Conspiracy. Right now I'm wearing Conspiracy. I love the packaging, it's like sturdy and like super chic. I really want to get so many more colors. They have so many to choose from. Like every time I go, I'm just like, dude, which ones do I get? But I'm so glad I got these. These are definitely my favorite. The next thing that is one of my most favorites from the favorites, this is the Jack Black The Stick Chapstick. I think I mentioned, yeah, I did mention this in my March favorites. Um, I talked about how the Jack Black Lip Balm is like my favorite thing to use for my lips. I went into Ulta the other day and I found Jack Black The Stick Lip Balm. So this is like a chapstick. It's like the same thing, it's just as good. But I got super excited when I saw this because this one, um, you use more of it and it runs out faster. I still love it though. And this one, I feel like it lasts you a little longer. If you have really dry lips and the thing works for you, get these. These are men chapsticks for men. And you know guys have really like crazy situations sometimes. Ah, the best. Next favorite is one of my favorites. That's why it's in this video. This is the new Kat Von D Locket powder foundation. I use it as a powder over my foundation because I can use all the coverage I can get. I mean not much to say this is just this is a good powder. I have oily skin I know I say it all the time and this definitely helps. I don't get as oily as I did with my um the powders I usually use. This one helps. I mean I still get oily as hell and I'm always gonna get oily but this one helps. It's just a really good it's just it's just a really good powder. Speaking of Kat Von D I bought the Locket Concealer, and oh my god, this is the best concealer ever. First of all, it's... I'm talking too fast. 
first of all it's a pretty big tube it comes with a lot a lot of product it is super good coverage it's thick but it's still easy to blend it's not blotchy it's not patchy it's not ugly it's just really good next favorite this is so cool this oh, i just dropped it i'm sorry this is a little van but it's not just a little van it's more than a sneaker this right here let me get you a close-up this right here what you're looking at is a portable charger this is like the coolest portable charger that i've ever seen in my life and i went into the van store with my brother because he needed some flannels and i saw this at the register and i told my brother i was like dude i'm gonna buy that that's super super cool and then i went to go look at um some jeans and then my brother's paying and he was like i'm gonna get it for free and i'm like what the hell like how and he was like if you make a purchase for a hundred more dollars you get one for free and i was like hell yeah and it came in this box this is like a like a shoe box it looks like a shoe box how how cool. Next favorite. Damn, this is kind of longer than what I thought. This is my Pandora bracelet. I've had a Pandora bracelet since for like almost a year. Actually, like two years. But up until recently, I told myself that I was really going to dedicate some love to my Pandora bracelet because I had the snake chain one originally, but it was starting to look kind of crazy and like different colors and it just wasn't coordinated so I was like okay I'm gonna buy the bangle and then I'm gonna really like take my time to like put this one together and then I can go back to this one and make this one a different color since summer of last year I got a Disney annual pass which is like the best thing ever uh Disneyland has been celebrating their 60th anniversary and it's like the best thing ever super magical it makes me cry I cried when I first saw the fireworks I was sitting up at the front right in front of the castle and I saw the fireworks I was by myself I was by myself and I was watching the fireworks and I cried by myself. A bunch of strangers around me and I started crying because it was honestly the best thing I had ever seen. It was, <sighs> you guys have to see it, but you know what? If you haven't seen it, it's too late because you're going to take everything down on Labor Day, which is in two days. And everything's going to be gone. The fireworks, the parade, worlds of color, everything's going to be gone. So if you didn't see it, dude. Anyways, they were celebrating a diamond anniversary, so everything was like blue and diamond and crystals and stuff. By the way, the, the castle was like all bedazzled and it's just... Uh, I could talk about Disneyland all day, non-stop. I love Disneyland. If you love Disneyland, then we should be friends. Anyways, Pandora carries a Disney collection, but uh, the actual Disneyland park has exclusive charms that are only sold at that park. So since they were celebrating the 60th anniversary, Pandora at Disneyland had exclusive charms. I was buying a lot of them and since they were mostly blue I told myself that I was just gonna just keep this one blue. I only have these charms but it's already looking super nice. I just I love how it's looking. Pandora bracelets are honestly super cool and it's like super fun like all these charms have like you know kind of like a story behind it you know like a gift or like you know whatever and I have some exclusive ones. It's just so nice and like thoughtful and like charms. It's just, uh, it's really fun. Really, really fun. Ooh. These are honestly, okay, let me just put them on. Before I say anything, let me, let me just. These are so badass. I love sunglasses. Um, I'm trying to collect as many as I can. These are um, Versace aviators. I don't really like Versace. I mean, it's cool, but you know, a lot of their things aren't my style. A lot of their things are really loud and kind of ratchet, you know? And their glasses especially, like some of their glasses are like crazy, like the lion. It's just, you know? And then I saw these and I was like, whoa, like these aren't like, these are like pretty subtle. They have the little line right here and I was like, dude, these are cool as f and they're not that ratchet they're black and they're gold and i love black and gold you guys should know that by now i love black and gold oh, i'm so happy about these my next favorite oh my god this smells my heart this is a disney 60th anniversary little mini hat oh my god oh my god look how cute it looks i have been wanting this since last year like since the anniversary started i have been wanting this because i was like dude i really want it so i can you know save it and you know take my daughter to disneyland so she can you know rock this and like look super cool and everyone's gonna be like oh my god look at her hat and she's gonna be like yeah it has little like charms hanging on it 
it's just so cute i really want to go to disneyland i want to go to disneyland so bad i haven't been there in so long i would kill to go to disneyland anytime soon i need it i'm gonna wear this this is so cool and i can't wait to carry it on give it to my little maria jr so she can wear it at disneyland and look super cute the last thing for my favorites is a notebook or a journal whatever it is um i got this at a disney store and it's super convenient because it has a magnet so you don't have to worry about it opening up in like your bag or like wherever you keep it for the past like two months i write every single night every single night and it just writing just helps me stay on planet earth and it helps me not go crazy writing before you go to sleep is honestly so therapeutic um it's like a great way to like reflect on yourself or like your day i feel free to write about whatever i want i can say whatever i want express myself however i want and you know i know that this is just for me and no one else to read i really recommend like i really recommend writing before you go to sleep because it honestly feels so good you know like you can write about anything you want you know no one has to read it you know if you're going through something and you don't want to tell someone because you don't want no one all up in your business you know and you could just write about it and it honestly when you know when you like talk to someone about something that you know has been on your mind for like a long time and you feel so good when you're done talking about it this honestly feels just as good so that wraps up my favorites for august i hope you guys enjoyed this video i definitely enjoyed filming it make sure to like and leave me a comment down below my haters, you know, you're always welcome to say anything you'd like to say. I'd love to see what you have to say. I'll see you guys in my next video. So my camera overheated, so I had to stop and turn it off. I went to go pick up my brother because he was at a party. And we went to McDonald's and I got a kid's meal. I haven't gotten a kid's meal. And I can't even remember the last time I got a kid's meal. Let me show you. Let me just, let me do a quick little unboxing of my kid's meal. Look how cute this little fry thing is. It literally only came with like eight. I finished them all in the car. And it came with this toy. Dude, I forgot Kids Meal came with toys. I don't know what this is. This is, looks kind of scary. And I got a little cheeseburger. Tastes fake. And it came with a cute little yogurt. Mmm. Mmm. This is good.